gear change out. It's a scroll compressor on a freezer. With the, it's got the liquid injection, the DTC control on it, discharge temperature controller. I'll show you guys that, we'll get into it. Um, I got my Reefer Man's breakfast right there. They look like a big smile right there, huh? It's all happy. I'm gonna eat that thing in a little bit. Uh, it's Saturday morning. It's not super early. It's like 7.20. On a Saturday morning, we're gonna head out there. And I'll bring you guys along for the ride. The staging area here. <clears throat> Let me get all my stuff up on the roof over there. What you'll see on that one is, uh, it's a three-phase unit, and they had to put the, uh, the inverter on there to go from single phase to three phase. If I can zoom in, I'll get I'll get a little closer on there when you're on it, but that makes it run three phase. Picked them today. <clears throat> I've already replaced the condenser fan motor and blade and the contactor. And if you look right here on the compressor, I was gonna, I was gonna change this thing out and guess what? They sent me the wrong compressor from the wholesale house and I had to get it back online and running. <clears throat> and uh, ooh, that really screws your day up. But I got the right one today, so we're gonna crank this thing out and get it recovered, get this compressor changed out. I'm gonna cut that suction dryer out too and just put a piece of pipe there. That thing's hitting the road. And I got a bigger, bigger liquid line dryer for the change out. This is the um, discharge temperature control right here. It just has a bulb that goes into the top of the head. And uh, at low temp, these scrolls run super high compression ratios. So when that bulb sees that head getting hot enough, it'll, it'll open up in here and then let liquid refrigerant come through and cool off the internals of that compressor. That's the blue collar description of how that works. No solenoid valve in this one or anything like that. That's how that one uh, works. It's just a mechanical valve. All right, it's 7.54 a.m., 53 degree ambient. Mr. 45 crank, and we'll see how long it takes to recover this system. I'm thinking it holds are probably around between 15 and 17 pounds of gas, somewhere in there. <clears throat> Maybe 20 at the most. Um, had this thing for almost a year and a half now. No issues. I like it. Works for me just fine. We'll see if it lasts. That's going to be the telltale sign. I'm not doing super big stuff with this little guy. Um, but we'll see if it lasts. We're still, still seeing how it does. So far, great. Digging it. All right, I'm gonna start ripping things apart here. My bolts out, my wires, crankcase heaters off of there. The uh, top plug will come out has a little retainer inside there. And that's all it is. It's just a probe, temperature sensing probe. It comes off this valve here. Discharge temperature control. And that's it. It sits down in there. And Mr. 45 crank will go and get down there. And now we're just waiting for the uh, recovery. Cover uh, the whole system here with this uh, Mr. 45. I just did a standard recovery on it. I didn't do like push pull or anything crazy like that. I didn't pump the system down to the receiver. I just shut it off and then sucked it out. So, not bad. Not bad. 
I took the recovery machine and the tank back to the band. I came up, I'm chopping out my dryers right here. And then before I, uh, I chopped out that suction dryer, it's, uh, it's done its job. I'm gonna put a piece of pipe right here. Um, it's not a burnout or anything like that. That came from the factory, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. I got a 164 liquid line dryer. It had a, a 084 from the factory. There's a screen in here I'm gonna take out and see if it's clean. I'll show you guys that. We'll fit this pipe up, fit our dryer up. Uh, after we, we uh, I'm gonna take the compressor out before I do that. But let's take a look at this right here, the screen. There's our screens, clean as a whistle. Let me see if I can get some close-ups for you guys. That's the screen. Clean as a whistle. That's good. That's what we want to see there. All right, so I'll get that back. flame was a little bit too hot um i had to change torch rigs and all i could score in town was this big one it's a freaking number three um i got some on order but uh we got her going pretty good let me cool this down so i don't melt myself oh it was gonna work out the egg purge and nitrogen you betcha Pink. Where's my uh, thing I'm a jiggler at? Yeah, there it is. On the braze setting. Where are you? Braze. And then I had it hooked up to the gauges coming in the low side. And then I had my out right here off the receiver. Or the Purgematic 5000. Well, we got the dryer changed. We got our piece of pipe in. We are getting on our way here. All right, there she is out of there. Got some stuff out of the way. Oh, what was the serial number on this one? 2002. 16 years. 16 year run ain't bad on a freezer lineup. Running every day. Let's get this one up on the roof. It's about 944. This thing's all in. I got it on nitrogen pressure test right now. Um, I'm going to grab the soap bubbles. I'll take some more stuff down to the truck and then grab my soap bubbles. Soap everything up. Yeah, it's a little over 120 for the test. Um, I'll grab some soapy bubbles, soap everything up, and then uh, we can get it on the vacuum pump. I'm going to put a fresh charge in it. I recovered the gas that was out of there. That gas was at least 16 years old. Starting this, I don't think it was weird. It just smelled a little different. So I'm going to put fresh gas in since it's a freezer. And uh, we'll see where we're at from there. Let's come in and check all my stuff.
vacuum, vacuum pump hooked up. I'm just doing the one hose monkey here off the receiver. The uh, liquid line solenoids open for the cases. I'll I got to show you guys the inside too. I haven't done that yet. <clears throat> now we're coming down, coming around the mountain here on the microns. And uh, after we get the vacuum done, then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get her charged up. We're up and running for a bit here. Um, I got the charge dialed in. I went on the Copeland app. On the Copeland app, you can put your model of your compressor, put your suction pressure, your discharge pressure, and your amp draw, and it'll give you a percentage. And so I'm within spec. Just getting up and running the cross pattern for the freezer is looking good right there. See that? Uh, I got it charged up and then added my 10% for the headmaster. Here's what we're looking at right now. We're at a minus 19.7 evaporator, so if you round that up, that's a minus 20 evap. That's what I'm looking for because we're keeping ice cream in here. And it's only 55 degrees out this morning because we got the fog in. Uh, so, uh, been at 86 condensing, which is fine with me. We're at right now on this side, almost back to zero. I want to get it under zero. So, we got these two doors, and then I got all this down here. Freezer line up. So, that's what this unit is going to. Wrapped up, it's 11.54, not too bad. She used to be my homeboy's lady. Oh, let's get out of here. Like, like subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.